and welcome to H3 Languages. We're on Spanish and we are going to spend today learning how to talk about what you do online. First activity that you had to complete was to match up the phrases in English and Spanish. Um, so let's make sure that we've got our Spanish expressions on the left hand side matched with the correct English on the right. So here we go. Hablar por Skype is to talk on Skype. Chatear con mis amigos to chat with my friends. Jugar con mi tableta is to play with my tablet. Mandar SMS is to send texts. Descargar películas y canciones to download films and songs. Hablar por móvil is to talk on my mobile. Leer mis mensajes is to read my messages. Descargar aplicaciones to download applications and compartir mis fotos to share my photos. Double check that you've got all of those matched up correctly to start us off. Okay, this is our present tense revision. So don't forget we've got three different types of verbs in Spanish. We've got AR verbs, ER verbs, and IR verbs. And what we have to do each time we want to use them is we take off our ending. So we take off that AR, ER, or IR, and we add the endings that I've underlined in the verbs underneath. So we've got hablar, to speak, comer, to eat, and vivir, to live. So if we're going to say yo, I do something, remember that AR needs to come off and an O needs to go on. So hablo, I speak, como, I eat, and vivo, I live. And that works the same all the way down. Remember the difference between a singular informal tú, which we are use when we're talking to one friend, um, the single formal usted, which you would use when talking to one person that you're being polite with. So it might be somebody that you would call Mr. or Mrs. Um, it might be an adult that you're being polite with. Nosotros, we. Vosotros, another form of you, but remember this one is plural and informal. So this might be to a group of your friends, okay? Ustedes, slightly different because yes, it's plural, but this is formal. So this is to a group of people um, that you would call Mr. or Mrs. or that you would be polite to. Okay, so if you work your way through, remember to take that AR, ER or IR off and add your endings. Now they're very similar. Yo is O for all three. We've got a slight change in the two form because our AR verb is an AS, whereas ER and IR are S, so comes, vives, but hablas. Same thing um, in our he and she form. We've got that A and an E for the ER and the IR verb, so habla, come, vive. Then we've got hablamos, comemos, vivimos. Now this time you can see that the A stays, the E stays, and that I stays. So although we've taken A, R, E, R and I, R off, you can see that they're reflected in the endings because the endings are slightly different for each verb. Um, okay, same thing for vosotros. You've got hablais with an A for your A, R verb. Coméis with an E for your E, R verb. And bebis with an I for your I, R verb. Okay? And then you've got ello, uh, ellos and ellas and ustedes. So hablan comen and viven. So that's a little bit more like these where AR verb is the AN and the ER and the IR end in an EN so they are the same. Okay it is absolutely worth learning these endings off by heart. It will make life a lot easier for you. Okay so we're going to have a look at um, a translation so we need to see whether we can use the table on that previous page and the list of infinitive phrases that we translated to translate our following sentences. Double check, uh, make sure you've had a go at this first, then double check your answers against what I'm about to explain. Okay, so we talk on our mobiles. If you think about these, there are two parts to most of these sentences. There's the verb and then there's the rest of the sentence. So first of all, you're looking for we talk and we know that to talk or to speak is hablar because we just looked at it and we know that the we form is an amos so you should have hablamos and then if you check back with your translation you should be able to see that on our mobile or on our mobiles there's no need to pluralize it no need to make it plural uh, it's just por móvil um, i download films and songs well descargar 
is two downloads. So remember, we need to take that AR off and put an O on because I'm doing it and it will become descargo and then the rest stays the same. So you've got descargo, películas y canciones. Then we've got she sends texts. Well, we know that to send text is mandar ese eme ese um, and we've got mandar as our verb. So it's an AR verb. We need to take that AR off and we check our ending for she, which is an A. So you should have manda and SMS it again. Don't need to make that plural. So it's just manda SMS. Do you share your photos? Right. You remember in Spanish um, that your question really is from your tone of voice when you're speaking or from the presence of an upside down question mark at the start of your question if you are writing. So don't forget to put your upside down question mark so that you are showing you know this is a question. Um, compartir is our verb. So do you share? We need to make sure we've got compartes. Okay. Now there's something else you need to think of here because it's your photos and we've got compartir mis photos. So have a look over here. My photos would be mis, but we want, do you share your photos? Your, we need to change it to tus. So compartes tus photos. Okay. Number three, do you singular chat with your friends? So this is tu. Okay, do you chat with your friends? And we know from our translation that was chatear con mis amigos. Um, do you chat with your friends? So do you chat? Chateas, nice, chatear. We've taken off that AR and we've put on an as, AS, chateas. Ah, con mis amigos was with my friends. So double check it again. Mis needs to become tus because there's more than one. Remember that me is if it's one thing and mis if it's more than one thing. Mi amigo, my friend, mis amigos, my friends. Tu amigo, your friend, tus amigos, your friends. Okay, so we need con tus amigos. Okay, and remembering because it's question mark, get that question mark upside down at the beginning and at the end. If that question mark was not there at the beginning, there would be absolutely nothing in that writing to tell you that it was a question until you got to the end, which would be really inconvenient if you were reading read Spanish. And our last one, we play on our tablets. So we've got jugar, so it's an AR verb. We play becomes jugamos, and then con nuestras tabletas. Why nuestras? Well, it's not mi tableta, so we have to do two things this time. We have to go from my tablet to our tablets. So we actually have to go, because it's tableta, it's feminine. So we need nuestras, feminine plural. Um, and then we have to remember to put our S on the end there. So they are tablets, not just one tablet. Okay, have a look through what you've done. Correct any mistakes. Take the time, because obviously I've just explained why everything in the sentence is the way it is. Take the time to go through. If there's anything that you've got wrong, make a note of what it is. But more importantly, make a note of what it should be. Okay? And then when you're ready, we'll move on to the next slide. Okay, what went well and even better ifs. So I've got some suggestions uh, for what you could think about what went well in that last piece of work um, and how you could improve it. So I'm going to try and lead you through this process a little so that you can get the most out of the work that you've done. So what went well? Um, did you remember to check your verb endings and did you get all or most of them correct? If you did, that could be a what went well. Did you remember a lot of the vocabulary without having to turn back in your book to check? Again, that would be a what went well. Even better if, well, how could you improve? Maybe if you learned at least some of the endings, so you didn't have to check the tense table every time. Uh, that would make a massive difference. It is absolutely worth learning all these endings. Uh, maybe if you learned the vocabulary so you didn't have to turn back to check the words, that would help. Um, and it would definitely be a good idea to practice using the present tense with some new verbs to expand your vocabulary and that will make a big difference when you come um, to do your own writing. So don't forget when you're doing these activities, um, you are analysing, so you are identifying structures, you're finding patterns and you are solving problems. So what's going to be our dirt? Okay, so our dirt is our dedicated improvement and reflection time. Um, I've come up with three tasks. Uh, in order to decide how you could get better, what I'd like you to do is look at your own even better if targets and choose at least one of the tasks below that would be 
um, best fitted to you making progress. So I'm suggesting one, that you make a card match game for the endings of the present tense. You'll need an example of each kind of verb for this, the AR, the ER and uh, the IR, don't forget, because they all change in slightly different ways. And you could make a card match game using the three verbs that I gave you as the example, so hablar and comer and vivir. You could make a memorised course for the new, uh, new vocabulary, so that could be the verbs, the activities or ideally both. Uh, or you could make a poster of the new language and stick it somewhere that you will see it each day, which will definitely help you to remember it and if as we move through your work you have a spot where you put a poster in each few weeks or every few weeks rather you make a new poster then that will help you to keep learning.